man. It's always when I want to record that I end up with a lane X attack sender and a lane Greninja. Which, I mean, let's be real. Unless they're laning together, it's going to be a terrible lane, which means that my lanes to gank are limited. So, also, they have a really dive-heavy team. So my teammates are going to get farmed all game, which sucks. But, hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy, and today... We, I want to do a little bit of theory crafting with this build here. I'm playing Potion Serena. We're actually jungling Potion Serena. And we're kind of taking this character back to the old days. Uh, I played this build. I've had this build in my mind for a little bit. I've been wanting to make a video on it. But we're taking this this character back to the triple axel days. And um, we've made some, some modifications from the old school build. So what we're running today is muscle, focus, and weakness policy. So we're keeping that that theme of just getting weakness policy damage into this kit, which has always been a really important thing to do. And, and I'm, I've thrown the muscle band in. So we're using potion to, to play into the theme of sustain. We're using muscle band to play into the theme of, of attack speed and giving this character a little bit of shred, which it, it drastically does not have and, and, and lacks whenever it comes to the stomp build. And we're giving the character that overall, uh, like, jungle, like, it, this is not even a necessity, but we're jungling it and we're, we're, we're kind of getting these levels fast and trying to be ahead of other people so we can use all of this sustain and this attack speed to, to, to really do something with it. So that's what we're looking for here. So we got our triple axel. Potion is, you know, I'm on the fence about potion. Can I, could I actually use this build seriously? Probably so, uh, but full heal may end up just being the better option. We're gonna see what's going on here. He's trying to stack, which might get him killed pre uh, 850s. We'll try to see if I can get a red buff on for him. I'm gonna have to pop the potion here, which I think is completely acceptable. I really don't want to give them everything here. We got some here. Nice, nice. And again, this is where this is where you want to start to take over. Huge. Really well done. We're going to get this, and we're going to insta-leave here. All right, we set up the two queenly. That's going to be one thing you're going to see me doing pretty much the entire duration of this gameplay, is constantly keeping myself at the two pink bars, two queenly majesties. Um, that's where you're going to want to be if you're playing Serena appropriately. Um, you want to have those two buffs consistently trying to manage your buffs best you can All right, so we're level seven at two queenlies. I see their Gengars in the top lane I might need to stay up here to watch for them to get dove And you're gonna like I said, you're gonna constantly see me watching for this. All right, we got a slow on we Got the eject off. Look at this big shred big shred and we're gonna go on ahead and push for a turn in really quickly I'm gonna break early I'm breaking early. That's going to give me the kill on the Machamp. We put the slow down on the Trap Kick. Now, we used to use Grassy Glide in this build way back in the day. Um, but I'm already just super fed. And this is exactly... This is literally doing what I want it to do. Keeping me ahead. Giving me great results. I'm jungle invading the crabs right now. Like, I'm so far ahead. I don't even know if they can stop this 8-point turn in. Here's the beauty of it. We use triple axle, we double queenly away. You know what I mean? Don't get too crazy there. That was silly. That was silly. I think he might be dead too. I don't think I can actually help there. But, kill the Gengar. Pop our potion. Shred through here. Oh, that's going to be good for us. Big, big big potential here and this is all about sustain this is game this is exactly if you remember this probably literally looks like release release serena treading through everything the muscle band good for objectives the uh the triple axle good for sustain and we're just making it happen here let's see let's see what we can do let's limit test this here and we're in there you know what i mean we're absolutely in there. Using the triple axle to shred. Look at this. Just like the old school days. Nice. With a huge overcap. Just like the old school days. I mean, it really does feel like that. And the beauty of, you know, listen, I, like I said, the potion is the thing I'm really on the fence about. It adds a, a pretty good amount of sustain, so I really like it. Um, but the beauty of using potion on an all-rounder is that the cooldown's short, 30 seconds, but the all-rounder actually has, oh, look, look, look at me, building my queenly stacks. The all-rounder actually has a, a decent health pool to get value out of it. So where if you're using a potion on like a speedster 
or a an attacker, you're not going to get a ton of value out of that. 550Vs we're ready for. We shred them down really quickly. That's muscle ban. Look at this. Not going to let this happen, right? We don't we don't want to let that happen. Okay, even even with their unite move here. Drop our potion. Get back into the back line. I mean, so much sustain. So much sustain working just the way I want it to. He's going to get that really quickly. Uh, I feel like that was a little bit overkill. We didn't really need that Unite move, and I gave up a little bit of turn in, but just really min max and best we can. I even tried to get my Unite move off just to, just just because I could, but didn't even need it. We're going to set up a Queenly again, use our cooldowns to get that set up properly. He's probably dead here. I think our Zera is a little overly aggressive, and that's okay. We're going to go ahead and pop our potion here. I don't even really need to, but they're they're chasing him around, so... We just need to back up. This is crazy. Okay. All right. We are going to shred through this. Triple Axel, if you remember, kind of like keeps you safe from knockups. And again, as long as they play really aggressive here, look at, look at this shred. Look at this. This is all me. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I get that. I'm going to left. I'm going to leave them to fight there. They honestly should be fine. If Zara could get up there, we maybe could contest this. And if not, we just we just burn it down, you know? Yeah, we burn it down. No big deal. I don't want to see him go too crazy here. Come on. Bring him back. Bring him back. He's probably dead again. Yeah, this guy is <laughs> This guy's a little lost. A little lost. Um I want to shred this down cuz I'm a little bit worried about our bottom tier 1 tower. Pop our potion. Give it a little bit of sustain. Yeah, I, I don't know if I can make it down to bottom tier one. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make it. No, nope, it's just gone. I don't think I can get there in time. Okay, 28 on 18. That's not the end of the world, right? They bring us some farm. As long as they stop that Machamp from getting a turn in, we should be in a decent position here. But yeah, I don't know. I think that this 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 character, this build has been um, slept on for a little bit because we saw some really nice changes to Stomp, but the thing is is that this character plays differently, you know? Put our shield on. We'll watch him run around crazy. People using Unite moves. Really interesting times. Okay. Being this low, my focus band procs, I just need to back up and, and stay chill. Nothing I really need to do there. And I'll just let him do work. Bam! It is what it is. Y'all better stop some of these turn-ins, Tony, homies. We're giving up too much free turn-in. Whenever I'm on the opposite side of the map, I have to focus on my side. They might have brought some, some score back on us, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, normal lead, that's okay. As long as we're not, like, blowing too many Unite moves. It's 255, and I don't see Unite moves on our side, so that makes me a little nervous. I actually think that this Dread is not nearly that important, but this Rotom is. So I'm going to ping the Rotom. Oh, man. I don't know what's going on. That makes me really nervous. Oh, unless he has his faint up. Gotta be careful here. We need... We, I don't want to give them this. This is the big thing. I don't want to give them this, uh, this Rotom. I don't have to go for it myself. We're gonna set up the Queenly. Champ in the back line. Oh, that ult's just so far. You can get him, that's great, but if you can... Okay, I got a base. I got a base and reset really quickly. We gotta be center. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna hit a tri triple axle really quickly just to make sure that we have our queenly set up. And we're in a good position. No, uh, back capping sender. That's not good for us. Our Gren's dead. They're gonna rip. Oh man, what is this game? They're going to just dive in and rip here, probably. Okay, didn't get our ult there, so now I have to kite out and wait a little bit. Cinder dies. And we're dead, and that's that's game, man. Oh my god, that's, that's game right there. There's nothing more you can do like that. Wow, what a disappointing showing. 13 kills. We got the back cap sender, and that is absolutely why you just do not play the game improperly. Um, I don't even know what more to say. I, th I think anybody that watches this channel knows exactly how you do and don't play the game. And when you get these teammates, you, you get them push playing sender, Gren, and lane. I'm going to vote no, and I'm going to hold them hostage. At this point, if you're going to throw my games, I'm going to make you play the whole game out. So it is what it is. I wasn't able to get an in-game ult off on that. 
on that spot, so that sucks for me. I, I wanted to push back in, so I kind of misplayed a little bit there, but ultimately it comes down to the making decisions, right? But we can make a push. It's not technically dead in the water yet. We have a couple of Unite moves. We have to get there, um, but this is probably a mostly dead in the water push. They have some Unite moves they wasted, so that's, that's good for us at minimum, right? I just can't get this ult off here. I'm lucky. Oh, well, friends, it is what it is. We had a really solid game. Just wanted to show the strength off of this build, and um, who knows? Maybe I can pull it out on a better gameplay. I've, just, I've had a few grief games in a row, and I'm just kind of saying no to surrenders. Always vote no. If you're having a bad game, it is what it is. It's 10 minutes long. Just play it out. So I've had a few grief games in a row trying to record some videos, so this is definitely not the best. It is what it is, man. You just play the game because the gameplay is fun. Um, that's the best we can do. So drop a like on this video if you wouldn't mind for me. Subscribe to the channel for future Pokemon Unite content. I love doing theory crafting builds, uh, thinking of stuff that's going to work, revisiting old stuff because there's there's gems in there and you just have to know how to find them. Unfortunately, you know, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm the, I'm the literal value of two of my teammates put together with a back capping center on the team as well. And then both lane and 13 kills is enough to win the game. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. Be sure to be kind of one another. Tell someone you love them. I'll see you in the next video.